video overview of our animated spider project and how the mechanism works. This is the ceiling of our front porch where the setup is mounted. We're covering a 4x4 four four foot area, so we built a frame of 2x4s and mounted a sheet of plastic pegboard to the frame. A 2x4 crossbar was added to hold the motor mount and the crank assembly. The entire framework will be mounted to another wooden framework. This is about 8 inches below the porch ceiling. The crank mechanism is mounted so it sits about 2 inches above the back side of the pegboard. The crank arm itself is about 12 inches long. A 6 RPM motor is mounted with a piece of slotted angle bar. This is the same kind of motor that's used in many of the uh, flank crank ghost setups. The crank arm has a 90 degree bend at the motor mount. It is attached to the motor spindle with a U-bolt with, with nuts and locking washers. The spinning arm must clear both the wooden crossbar and the pegboard as well as the sides of the frame. The end of the crank bar has a brass wheel from a sliding door replacement kit. It has four holes drilled through the edges, equidistant around the wheel. The wheel is mounted to the crank with a bolt and nuts with lock washers. Four swivel snap links, which are normally used as fishing tackle, are attached to the brass wheel. The fishing line is attached to the link and threaded through four holes in the pegboard. We use a doubled up length of 30 pound spectral line for attaching the spiders. When you thread the fishing line through the holes in the pegboard, you must use holes that are beyond the radius of the turning crank arm. The spiders are attached to the other end of the fishing line, and they move up and down as the crank arm travels about. The entire framework is mounted below the porch ceiling, and the spiders are adjusted for position. This is the end result. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.